Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. To eat the broken earth and set the captive free, we are weeping. Pamela, your time has come. Your list the first. A food open up for you. A can I benedict a job? Your time has come. A statue of you will come aboard. Your time has come. As many watching me now, you are welcome aboard. Your time has come. The Bugay Godwin, your time has come. Your time has come. If you are joining me, keep sharing. Keep sharing. Yes, you are more than a cockerel. You are a champion. Thank you, Jesus. Baby Wayne, welcome aboard. Daniel Lufa, you welcome aboard. Hallelujah. Just keep sharing. Keep sharing as you are coming in. You are next in life for a major breakthrough. You are not to preach the gospel, to hear the broken heart. I said the cup, the fruit, we are VPN. Monday Cockroach. We have VPN. We never, we never give up. I mean, never. Hallelujah. Esteem Atoni Eye Danem. We don't give up. Ajelenam Benedict Kaben. We don't give up. Pamela. We don't give up. We are Josie. We never give up. Lizzie Graham. We never give up. Gordon Fan. We don't give up. Yes, Jane Dawson, we don't give up. Robert Patrick, we don't give up. Sophia, we don't give up. Jeremiah, we don't give up. Cruzy Adams, we never give up. Joe Dazuki, we don't give up. Yes, Lizzie Graham, we never give up. Marita Wubuzde, we don't give up. Daniel Lefa, we don't give up. Hallelujah. Never. We have gone too far to give up on God. We have gone too far. We've crossed the water, we've crossed the fire, so we can never give up. Yes, our enemy will be the one to give up. Anyone that said we will not live, they are the one that will give up. Anyone that has vowed that you will not essay in your calling, they are the one that will give up. Miss him. Paul, we don't give up. As many watching me now, just know that no matter what you are going through, you can never give up. Testimony will add it up. Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord never them out of them all. Yes, maybe I do, we don't give up. Yabo, we don't give up. The name of Jesus, yes. As many watching me first man, we never we will never give up in the mighty name of Jesus. Malakosonian, we don't give up. Our mother Tracy Ruemi, our mother, God bless you, we don't give up. In the name of Jesus, Boniface, we don't give up in the mighty name of Jesus. We never give up no matter what you are going through. You are wired. By the power of God, not to give, not to give up. Say, I will not give up. I will not give up. My enemy will give up in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the We are not giving up. Amy Osage, as men watching me now, as men watching me all over the globe, we don't give up. And I declare this morning that every power working against your testimony, they will be uprooted by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that every evil load that the enemy has given you to carry, they will be destroyed this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yesterday we start a series of
power for strange testimony. Power for strange testimony. And I declare this administration we break every chain of the enemy from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I command all your blessing that evil power is sitting on to be released to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the pressure blood of Jesus wash away every evil mark of failure, mark of frustration over your life. Let the blood of Jesus wash them away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yesterday I told you that testimony are what start you out as a child of God. You cannot be in the kingdom of God and your life no, will not experience evidence, proofs, which are called testimony. Testimony are what manifest the faithfulness of this God that will wake up any demonic like this to call. Testimony are what manifest the presence of God in our life. Testimony are what manifest the power of God in our, our life. It is by your testimony that people or your enemy will know truly that you are serving God. But there are testimonies that come, stretch testimony, not the kind of testimony I, I was telling you yesterday. Testimony that you can't even explain. You are asking yourself, how can this be? How can this be? Yesterday I was talking about woman that don't know that she will ever get that she will get pregnant. No, no sign of pregnancy. <laughs> and God said, get ready, that the name of the child that is coming is Rebecca. That is strange. That is a, the woman, that is the man, and the woman has no plan of having baby. They didn't see it coming. But God said, get ready, that Rebecca is coming. And if you know, they are having the baby now called Rebecca. Someone happened. <laughs> I said, God said, tell her that if you're, you're, you're getting married expressly and your husband you have to name the boy after your husband ah, ah. when there is no man yet at all I found you know, a match up proposal got married and he gave birth to a baby boy last week <laughs> what I call strange testimony the other doctor was calling me yesterday Oh, she went through, which went through it. Imagine carrying baby from Namor. The baby will not uh, that, that miscarriage. It not miscarriage. That was I came to the church and yesterday. She was celebrating a daughter birthday. Truly, the word of God is real. That we pay me a due for a night, but due a comment in the morning. Your due, that testimony is coming expressly in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, a stretch testimony happened when a, a door that was locked just opened. Testimony, stretch testimony happened when born who was sold into a slavery. In another ghost and another person's country, now became the prime minister of that country. A strange testimony happened when a young girl who was captured as a slave they promoted to become queen. That happened even in what I'm telling you that, that it's scriptural. But the one that you know that's why this Break our all out. <laughs> this boy was working in where they uh, she was serving a server uh, serving where they said chicken and chips. That was what she was he was doing. And when this boy came to VPA and had the word of God, 
coach, he left that job to go apply as a bank manager. This, is, this man has no idea about banking. <laughs> In London, yeah. And this boy from cheap, taking a cheap shop, became a bank manager in United Kingdom. How can that be? If you are watching me, member of the church, if you are telling lies, say yes or no. How can that be? From serving chips and chicken in a restaurant, applied as a bank manager. <laughs> that is strange. That is not normal. I want to call strange miracle. Strange thing is so a thing is strange we cannot explain how it happened. You can't explain how it happened. A thing is strange when it's beyond your imagination. Blow you up. A thing is strange when it can it, it is not ordinary. A thing is strange when it has never happened before. Strange testimony, a large testimony that we hear yeah, they begin to wonder. How can this be? They are called amazing testimony. They are incredible testimony. They are net breaking both seeking testimony. Some of the time experience such testimony. Experience it. And you watching me right now, you will experience it. This man has fished all night but caught nothing. When he encountered this Jesus, he did not just give him a fish breakthrough. He gave him what I call strange testimony. He gave him a breakthrough that was so great that his daddy boat was sinking. Someone is watching me this morning. Testimony that will seek your boat is coming your way. I said a testimony that is so great, a breakthrough that is so great that is bigger than you is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will defend his ministry in your life, his word in your life. That's why he said in, Mal in Malachi 3 verse 10, said, Prove me now, hear with, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open your window of heaven and pour out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Doesn't matter what the devil has done to you. Doesn't matter what he has killed, what he has destroyed, what he has finished. He said, but I have come that you might have life and have it more in abundance. Listen to me again. There is a breakthrough that is so great that you will not have enough space to carry it. There is an open door that is so wide that all the generation cannot finish passing through it. There is a tolerance that is so fast that you do not have enough power to finish turning. There is a lifting that is so mighty that you cannot finish enjoying it. You can't finish enjoying it. This morning I declare that is the kind of testimony that will show up in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say to yourself again that I am a candidate of strange testimony. I don't know who I'm, who, I don't know who I'm teaching, who, who, I'm, who I'm according this morning. I said, but you are next in line. Why does God give strange testimony? When the devil took all hope is lost, mm -hmm. that he has succeeded in messing up your life, the God we put to the devil and their agent that I'm the one that called you. Why does God give strange testimony? To silence the work of the devil, to destroy the work of the devil. Luke 5, verse 45 said, 
Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and lay down your net for a draught. Rebam, that was the same place that he could not got it. The devil made sure that he could not catch the fish. He, he, he made sure he, he, he frustrated, he wanted to frustrate him. He wanted to depress him. And Jesus said, same place, same place that there was no fish lost there again. Verse 5 said, And Simon as I said unto Master, Master, we have told all night and we have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at that word, I will lay that the net. No matter what the devil is doing to you, God has the power to destroy the works of the enemy. That's why I said in First John 3 verse 8 said, For this proposition of God was manifested that it might destroy the work of the devil. The Bible tells us that Jesus came to destroy the work of the devil in your life. What are the manifestations of the work of the devil? What are they? Sickness. Affliction. Reproach, disappointment, rejection, and bondage. Whatever represents failure in your life is of the devil. Whatever represents poverty in your life is of the devil. Whatever represents whatever you are going to do today is of the devil. Every manifestation of a future is of the devil. Jesus said in John 10, 10 The thief cometh not, but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that they might have life and they might have it more in abundance. Jesus came to give you an abundance of life. There is, this is the purpose why Jesus came to give you such miracle. That is why he will give you. If you can believe it, say I receive my strange miracle. Doesn't matter what you are going through. God is in it. Jesus doesn't Jesus is in it. Jesus came to give you an abundant life. That is the purpose why he came. This morning, you will surely testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then the road, you will testify. Your body, you will testify. Your body was the one that the daughter came and God speak. And the baby has come. Devon Augustine, your time has come. Peter Wubuzin, I love you. No, love you. God will honor you the way you look after me when I was nothing. Daniel Ufa, bless you. Obi Ozito, thank you for being there for God. And God will honor you, good woman of God. You know, she's whatever she do for God, she's as still on do as anything. But what you are doing for God, I want to encourage you, be humble. Throw proudness away. That's what, what you are taking for, your future. You can't get there when you are proud, you are arrogant. Nobody can talk to you. You are the king of, you are the king. You are the one that controls the universe. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. I was just talking about my mother and the Lord yesterday, you know. She's an obo woman. An obo woman. But that's not why I'm here today. Let me preach the word of God. Samuel was an was an experienced fisherman. But he has thought all night and caught nothing because the enemy of his destiny was fighting against his breakthrough. Who is fighting against your breakthrough? My God will silence them. <laughs> he tore all night and came back disappointed. But I've come to tell someone under the sound of my voice. Because you have come before the Lord this morning. My God will turn every disappointment into divine appointment for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because you have woken this morning and you are you are seeking God first. After this encounter, everywhere you experience failure, you shall go back 
and succeed in that place. Wherever they have said no to you, you will go back, they will, they will say yes to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you have been knocking and they have been closing door against you, I declare by this not anointing, those doors are open up for you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, those doors are open up for you this morning in the name of Jesus. I said, the first thing, why God will give you strange testimony because you have seen the affliction that you have gone through. He has seen what you have suffered. That's what is about to turn this around. It's about to make the devil and their agent from to, 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 to know that yes, this is God. About two things to turn around your captivity. Up to now, I'm just I'm still amazed. The worst in my life is over. When I sit there and see the way God turned my captivity around. It's like I live a life of dream. God gives straight testimony in order to turn around a man's captivity. And he will turn your captivity this morning in the name of Jesus. He gives straight testimony in order to change the story, your story to glory. He gives the testimony in order to give you news to see, give you new song. The Bible tells us a story of a man who received a straight testimony that turned his life around. You find that in Mark 5, verse 2 to 5. Hallelujah. The Bible says that, that Jesus came to a place and met a man who was bound in heavenly captivity. The enemy has caged this man to the extent he could no longer live among human beings. He lived among the he was not living among the dead. He could not live where there was life. Rather, he lived among dry bone. He lived in a mountain. He could not live in a city or village and have access to what other normal human beings a job. He lived in affliction. The evil spirit in him drove him and it man found himself now destroy his body, destroy his heart, cut his heart with stone. But God will turn around that man's captivity. That is why I know that the God who brought Lazarus back from the dead, he will bring you out of every desperation you find yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. The God who made the dragon to, to, to live again, he will restore what that you have lost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The God who brought the children of Israel out of affliction of 430 years will bring you out of every captivity of affliction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, God will turn somebody's destiny around. He will turn captivity around in the mighty name of Jesus. I say this morning, the power of God is coming upon all my viewers watching me right now in the name of Jesus Christ you are be hearing about people testimony you are next in line to testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ all hope was lost for this man but when he encountered Jesus he received a strange testimony as what, what it happened again in VPA a man a doctor they have observed him they have told him already when you cannot live beyond social stage. You can't live beyond social stage. In short, they have to put a tag on the man that it can drop between 93 weeks. It will drop. It will die. <laughs> Do you know when this man came to VPA, if she was, the man was full of hopelessness. He said he has only 30 days to live. That was why he not came. When he not came, and I told him because I know what God has done for me. I has transformed my life. I has saved me from many enemies. I has delivered me. So no matter what you are going through, that God that, that, that affected my life, I know is capable to affect your life. They might give me the paper. I read the paper. I don't understand what they were writing. I command, I command that you stay alive. They are telling you that you are already dead. 
if you hold the paper in your hand and put it in your pocket so that when you fall they will they, they, they will take the tag they say tag your your, 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 your body they, they, they will take the paper in your pocket then they bring you to the hospital i said i was upset i dragged him from his hand i said i will take this man is living right now he's still living he has spent in, he has spent almost 10 to 12 years in VPA. He's, he has even studied his, his, what we call PhD, PhD. PhD. And the last time, I imagine, he came to me, I gave me almost, I think, 5,000 pounds. That's the man they, were, they have condemned. He was still able to, 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 to support ministry with such amount. That's what I call stretch testimony. What is your own you think God cannot do? What is your problem you think God cannot do? Even me that is spirit today, I have my issue. I have problem going on. But I, I know my God. I'm not afraid. If you can deliver me from Patricia, he can deliver me from anybody that, is, that has vowed to finish me. You know what I mean? If you can deliver me from my strong enemy, then he can equally deliver me from cockroach. Those was that cockroach now. The tough one. I was delivered from God. He delivered me. That God will deliver you. He said, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. I said, He will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Samuel Peter tore all night, and when it was daybreak, he was so frustrated that he was about to go home with nothing. Just like men, men, we are, we are, some of us are now, we are frustrated. We are wondering, how do I pay my bills? I was, I was frustrated. But on a day like this morning, when he encountered this Jesus, he intervened at this sermon, a strange testimony. This morning, I command every frustration in your life to be torn to overflowing breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is telling your frustration. He told strange miracle this morning. Say, I receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever I be speaking defeat in your life, I decree they are taught to success right now. They are taught to victory in the mighty name of Jesus. They are taught to miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man or woman that has, that has vowed that you will not make it, my God will defend his word in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why do God give strange miracle? To prove to the devil and their, their enemy that your waking up every morning is not in vain. But seeking him every day is not in vain. That's why you must, that's why God will give you strange miracle. You are supposed to be sleeping. Like me, I did not sleep last night because, uh, you know, this is a different environment now. When I go to a different environment, only when it is hard. No, I just know I'm I'm in the top of the top. <laughs> I just I almost asleep. I wake up. Even when the sleep came, when I wake up, I'm not, I say, ah, where am I? But I just know that's who I am. I don't sleep anyhow. And people like many of you too, you have woke up for who? Just to seek God. That's one. You are a candidate for a strange miracle. That's why you are qualified for what I'm telling you. Hallelujah. God cannot break the covenant of his faith of his faithfulness in your life. He's a faithful God. When you are faithful to God, God will be faithful to you. Psalm 89 verse 34 said, My covenant will I not break, nor utter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Testimony are part of your kingdom heritage. Jesus said in John 30, 30, 35 a.m. He said, But by this shall all men know that you are my disciple. By this shall all men know that you are my disciple. There is a no way, there is no way that men will know that you are serving the living God except through such strange miracle. My Jehovah keeps saying, You can deny. You can, you, 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 you can argue with my principle, but you cannot demand the evidence. 
you can say God has not come here. No, you cannot demand the, the miracle that is happening every day. The Bible tells us about a woman who received a street miracle. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You find that in Luke 7, verse 12, he said, How many men know what God is alive? How many men know that God is alive in your life? Through your strict testimony, men will know that God is alive in your life. How many men know that God is faithful? Through your strict testimony, people will know that God is faithful. How many men know that God is good in your life? Through your testimony, people will know that God is good. How many men know that God has visited your scripture? Through your strict testimony, the widow had lost her husband. And now she has is about to go and bury her only son. But on a day like this, Jesus stopped her and turned the funeral into celebration. He turned the funeral into celebration. Hallelujah. He gave her a such straight testimony that the poor keep referring to. A testimony that will cause him to glorify God for the rest of his life. What can God not do? I see you are a candidate of a straight testimony. That God will visit you. Luke 7 verse 67. And there came a fear on all. There came a fear on all. Straight miracle will make if you are enemy to be afraid of your God. Be afraid of your God. Look so as so they say, and they came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God has visited his people. Hallelujah. So, oh Lord, give me a strange testimony. And I prophesy upon all my viewers this morning. You will have your that strange testimony. You have been hearing other upon loud testimony. It is your turn to testify a loud testimony. It is true that people will, will hear and they will glorify God. I was imagine. I was here yesterday. One of my son test me. And I opened the test. I don't know the man singing with what I am doing for God. And I was marveled. I was in a stretch room. <laughs> At that time, I was in a stretch room. And God, I got a test message. And I, 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 I said, God, you are too much that today a person that was not known, a person that was in that place, nobody know me. I'm not there now. They're using my need to sing all over, all over Esako, all over Uzaroe, Esako. And I want to listen to the music. What are they saying? That anyone that anyone that asks somebody is a rich person. The only one that asks me, the person is rich. I say, ah, ah. a poor man that was poor. And they said, when you have a person like this, you're already rich. Only what the man know is shout Jesus, shout Jesus, shout Jesus. And Jesus is showing up in his life. You know? What is God? I, I have never seen any church in this planet world that was screaming Jesus. But I was led to start screaming Jesus. But look at now, people are doing it now. And they are seeing miracles. That's what Jesus specialized in doing. It's a miracle working 
God. Why do God still do miracles? To let you see the waters of God. My life is a waters of God. It's a waters of God. God gives this testimony when he wants to demonstrate his waters to his people. He gives the testimony to the children of Israel in Egypt because he wanted to show waters. He's the God of waters. Romans 9 verse 30 said, For this scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for the same purpose have I raised up thee up, that I must show my people in thee that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. You see, there was a poet, there was a poet that Jesus wanted to put to Samuel Peter. Even though Samuel was a professional fisherman, he was an expert fisherman. God was the owner of all the fishes in the world. He put to Peter, even though you are an expert in catching fish, I am the owner of fishes. Even though you are going through what you are going through, God will show you that he is the owner of the world. He is the owner of the children. So you are seeking him will not be vain, Pamela. It will not be vain. Every day you are the one, you are the first to show up. And you think God is a man. And you think God is a man. What does of God will add up this shame? What does of God will add up this reproach? What does of God will add up whatever you are going through? The wonders of God will add it up. He said, no, what he said, those sons shall follow. Did I believe? Those sons and wonders shall follow them that believe. Keep believing. Keep believing. Don't be discouraged. What I'm going through in life, tell me not to shake me. Let put me in the toilet. I will pray the word of God. Carry me to prison. I will pray the word of God. Shoot me in the arm. I will pray the word of God. I don't need any other thing than only my laptop anywhere I, I, I preach. <laughs> That's who I am. I came to this world without children. I came to this world without us. I came to this world without anything. And I'm going back to this to say God. That's who. I know that's who I'm re I rely on, not anybody. I'm great in life to the extent I don't trust nobody. All I trust is my God. I trust nobody. I trust nobody. Because when people will just lack you because of what they get from you, the money. I just go down, you have issues, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. You're in trouble. That's why you must not, you must take eyes off from people and focus on your God. I see some of Peter, he was expert in catching fish. But God proved to him that I'm a control. I'm a control of what you are looking for. If you are expert, I'm a control. Hallelujah. You might go to school and not to show forth, but God will do what does to tell you that it is a control of what but open the heaven for you. This is the same Jesus who told some of Peter in Matthew 17, verse 7 said, Not we study, lest we should offend them. Go down to the sea and cast cast an hook and take off the fish and the first comet up and when thou hast opened his mouth thou shalt find a piece of money and take it and and give unto them for me. Tamil Saint Peter is expert in fishes. That means he knows what he was doing. For God to send him Peter, go to the fish, go to the river, go and catch the first fish you will catch. Imagine the first fish you will catch, you will see what they are asking for. 
take the fish, remove the money from his mouth, and go and pay the bill. <laughs> Man, I fear God. I want to tell you this morning that the same God who brought money out of the mouth of the fish is able to give you a net breaking, seeking miracle of breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, what a mighty God was there. God gives you testimony when you want to see his waters. On that day, what the psalmist said, he saw the waters of God. Bible testify that Samuel Peter left all. He left all and followed Jesus. When he saw the waters of Jesus, he left the fishes and followed Jesus. Ah. <laughs> he left everything and followed Jesus. Look at what that's what I said. What is in the world that we are done after? What is this money? What is this houses? What is children? What is wife? We are done after. Remove your eyes and follow God. Follow God. Someone is watching me right now. God will cause you to see the wonders of God. In that situation, in that challenge, in that condition, in that crisis, you will see a straight testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God delight in doing extraordinary things. He delight in, in surprising his people with miracle. He delight in the anointing. He delight in, in anointing his people with all year of gladness above their followers. He delight in it. God delight in preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemy. He delight in doing that. How many men know that you serve a great God? But by the great demonstration of his word, they will know that you are serving the living God. This morning, someone is someone is going to encounter a straight testimony that will terminate all your struggling in the mighty name of Jesus, that will end up all your reproach in the name of Jesus. God will intervene in every straight situation in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree every fire of affliction that the enemy has set against you. They are Quench right man. I said they are quench in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what you are passing through, but today I've got to tell you that in that situation you will see strange testimony. In that pain, you will see strange testimony. God is going to demonstrate his power in your life, and the enemy of your destiny they shall bow before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are passing through sorrow, get ready for your joy. In the name of Jesus, if you are passing through delay, get ready to your spirit manifestation of virtue. If you are passing through loneliness, get ready to, to get married. If you are passing through barrenness, get ready to carry children of your own. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if you are passing through crisis, I say get ready for your lifting. This morning, I promise you will surely testify. In the name of Jesus Christ, your breakthrough will manifest. Your miracle will appear. You will make it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pamela, I don't know what my, I don't know what Pamela, Pamela, you will make it. You have encouraged me. And God will encourage you. Yesterday I was talking to one of my daughters that was in for long I've not seen them. That you know and I was something that happened and they said she, they were, she was upset. The other was upset that, uh, you know, I was not, I did call them. You know, I said, well, and I told the, my, my children, I said, I was going through my crisis. I was going through things too. You were, we were going through your things, I was there for you. You should be there for me when I'm going through my own. <laughs> I said, that, 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 is, that is very correct. How can you hear some different people? Somebody, somebody called you and tell you negative things about me. You know, but the Bible say, why people believe those negative things? Because they are my own household. If somebody in my household is calling somebody and said, yes, this man did so so, it's easy to believe. I said, but you will have called me to confirm if what they said was true. 
Frida is my daughter. Frida, I'm speaking on. Frida has been my daughter for life. I have never done anything with Frida. I have never. But people carry rumors up at that, or because she is close to me. Because she's close to me. And somebody in my ass old that you don't, that should protect me, should defend me, will be the one narrating me to gossiping me with people. But God would just go, but that's what God is, that's what God is still proving himself to me. That's what God is still proving himself. That's what God is still proving himself in my life. I'm affecting lives. Look at people watching me. It can only be the only spirit that can touch people's heart to watch me. Only God can touch the heart of people to get connected to me. Not by my making. It's not my prayer. It's the grace that God has put in me that When I told her, I said, you will have come here and asked me, I can't do such thing. Just like Pamela now, every time I call Pamela, I call Pamela. If you could not see what people go through, why would I be there for you? That doesn't mean you are my parents. That doesn't mean, I mean, you know, that Solomon, the people, this is Solomon asked many wives, you think Solomon was doing that to, to them? the spirit people are there to tarnish people's image they are there to blow people down don't say because you always love to be uh, always love to see if i can believe look at what god is doing the ministry being in the spirit I was about to talk today yesterday and they went, oh, they said, Daddy, I'm sorry, Daddy, we, you, we, can, we don't have history without you. It's God. Now declare upon this morning, whoever that is married to you, try to break you down. My God will defend his interest in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever the devil is using as an armor to torment you, in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, whatever with the next experience you are falling into, my God will deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. I see you coming out of that situation with victorious testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, your enemy will not laugh over you. In the name of Jesus, whatever will not allow your life to show proof is a move from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever will limit you from attaining greatness and fulfillment is lifted off you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever your glory may be lost and whatever made it to be lost, you will recover it this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said recover it right now. Recover it in the mighty name of Jesus. The God that defend Peter, that God will defend you. So they get a defender salmon, Peter. That God will defend you. I don't care how frustrated you are. Guide him to live for joy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. What a mighty God will serve since your time. You will testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every devices. That the enemy of your destiny has fashioned against you, they will backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every evil devices that the enemy of your destiny fashioned against you, I said they will backfire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 3, verse 27, it says, The eternal God is the refuge, and all damn it at the everlasting arm, and it shall trust at the enemy before them. I read that none avoid every ritual, every catechism, every spells, every causes issued against you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I read that them not avoid in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the blood of Jesus and command every castle of the enemy over your life 
to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be broken to pieces. All their cancers be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and declare wherever they will take cancer against you. Their cancer will not stand. Their cancer will not manifest upon your life. Their intention will not manifest in your life. Whatever they plan concerning you we go upon their own head in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil pronouncement made over your family that's affecting your life and renounce it and nullify, and nullify the effect from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every strange voices calling your name for evil. Let them be silent wherever they call your name in your father's house, in your mother's house, whoever, in your in laws house, whoever that is calling your name for evil. I say they'll be silent by the fire of the Holy Ghost. To Will be silent and command the fire of God to destroy every evil observance of progress of your that is every observance of your progress. Let them be silent in the name of Jesus Christ by the blood of Jesus. I break you loose, I break you loose from every evil attachment of your place of bed. I break you loose. Be loose, be loose, be loose. Every evil attachment for your place of bed. I say be loose this morning, be loose this morning. Every evil attachment, that sickness that is attached to your life, that poverty that is attached to your life, I say be loose from it, be loose this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the angel of God roll away every stone, every interest, every interest to your breakthrough. Let me be rolling away in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me be rolling away in the name of Jesus. Let me be rolling away in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree every witchcraft, every enchantment, definition which be against you be destroyed by the authority in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I declare you victory. I declare victory. I declare victory from every pronouncement targeted against you. I say you are victorious. You are victorious. Every Good pronouncement targeted against you for even I declare that you are victorious. You are victorious. You are victorious. You are victorious in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever they will associate themselves, they will be broken to pieces. Wherever they will gather against you, they will be broken to pieces. Whatever they will do against you, they will be broken to pieces. We start upon the word of God in Isaiah 8 verse 9. Wherever they will associate themselves to gather against you in the land, in the sea, wherever they will gather, they will be broken to pieces. They will be broken without repair and they will rise no more. They will rise no more. They will rise no more. Wherever they will gather against you, they will be broken to pieces. Isaiah 8 verse 9 said, Associate yourself, O ye people, and you shall be broken in pieces. Give ears and you for fan country. Guard yourself and you shall be broken in pieces. Guard yourself, you shall be broken into pieces. Wherever they will gather, they be broken into pieces and decree. Wherever the enemy of your destiny are gathered against you, they will start up. They will scatter forever and they will gather no more in the mighty name of Jesus and declare that whatever is being used to monitor you from this realm of the spirit, from evil, <coughs> let them scatter, let them scatter, let them scatter, let them scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I decree destruction upon every strange foundation you came from. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say whatever that is closely closed door, that is closely closed door in your life to Day, I declare <coughs> destruction upon it in the name of Jesus. I declare let those let your door be opened up speedily in the name of Jesus. I decree every access track causes of failure at the end of breakthrough. I command it to break right now. Break right now by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree every cause placed on your life. Break right now. Every pronouncement be Break him in the name of Jesus. Recover by fire. All oh, what they have stolen from you, recover them. Recover your joy back. Recover all that belongs to you back. Recover your all that causes you. Recover your breakthrough. Recover your miracle. Recover your miracle. Recover all that causes you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I praise money that whosoever, whosoever, wherever they will gather against you for evil, they will be consumed. They will be consumed. They will be consumed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Psalm 18, verse 7 said, David said, I have pursued my enemy 
and I've overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I bad every strong man. <clears throat> oh, do you all right? Oh, do you captive? I said, receive your blessing this morning. Receive your children this morning. Receive the fruit of your wood this morning. Receive that breakthrough this morning. Receive your expectation this morning. Receive God attention this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I reject every evil load the enemy have begin to carry while you are sleeping. I reject those Lord, I command the evil owner to carry their own load. And they carry their own load in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare Psalm 126 verse 1 will manifest in your life. Psalm 126 verse 1 will manifest in your life. He said, when the Lord turn again the captivity of pastoralists, you will attend that dream. I declare that you shall experience a divine turnaround. In every area you need it, you will experience a divine turnaround, a miracle that looks like a dream. It will show up in your life in the name of Jesus. It will show up in your life. Say, Jesus, all talk to you in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I command all the money that was killed by the enemy to be loosed by fire right now, to be loosed to you right now. Wherever your money at the cage, let the money be loosed to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every which crap, which made and bondage, but did your head, your feet. For progressing, I command them be loose right now, be loose right now, be loose right now, be loose right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, whosoever, whatsoever, anything that is calling your name for evil, in the realm of the spirit, I command them to be silent. In the name of Jesus, wherever they will call your name for evil, I think Jesus will appear. God, Jesus will appear. The only God will show. Fought in the name of Jesus Christ as they gather, as they gather, as they call, as they call your name. Jesus will appear and decree as every ancestral causes of failure at the edge of breakthrough break from your life right now. In the name of Jesus, whosoever waited for you at the edge of your miracle, at the end of breakthrough, they will die by fire. They will be roasted by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. And I declare as many that have started that project, every project you have started now, they are nowhere to complete it, receive it now. In the name of Jesus, they are nowhere to complete the house. Is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. The breakthrough to complete it, it receive it now in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I decree every cost place on your life, on your property, break right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every, I don't know who, uh, who, who, who is watching me now. It's affected by serpent uh, spirit. So I'm praying for you. Somebody be affected by serpent spirit. Those serpent are destroyed right now. Ah, you keep seeing it every day, every time. That serpent, that serpent, that serpent is destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. That serpent is dead by fire by force. In the name of Jesus, because I was praying, I was seeing it. Somebody is passing through serpent spirit. And if you imagine how you see yourself surrounded with snakes, but today they are destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, the word of God cannot be broken. The Bible said in number 23, verse 22 said, God brought them out of Egypt. I declare, whatever you are going through, my God will break you out this morning. It bring you out, out of that shame, out of that reproach, out of that poverty, out of that which you are going through. I say God is bringing you out. He's bringing you out of that sickness. He's bringing you out of that affliction. He's bringing you out of that reproach. Whatever that is not of God. I say my God is bringing you out this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, oh Lord, over to you. Oh Lord, over to you. Say, oh Lord, by your right act of righteousness, deliver me from every pit of the enemy. By your right act of righteousness, deliver me from every pit of the enemy. By your right act of righteousness, deliver me from the pit of my enemy. In the name of Jesus, God will deliver you. He will deliver you from every pit the enemy has put you. He will deliver you. In the name of Jesus, <clears throat> from henceforth, I declare as many watch me now 
from export, let no man trouble you. Let no woman trouble you. Let no witches trouble you. Let no forces trouble you. Let no reproach trouble you because you bear in your body the mark and the blood of Jesus Christ. As if from export, every power that will trouble your life is defeated in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy of your destiny stole from you, whatever they are stolen in your marriage, in your head, in your business, in your finance, in your work, in your studies, in your testimony, I command the release right now. I command the release right now in the name of Jesus. But this anointing you are supernaturally lifted to where no man can pull you down, no witches can pull you down, no woman can pull you down, no forces can pull you down in the name of Jesus. That yoke for your foundation is broken and you are loose forever in the mighty name of Jesus. What has never, what has never happened before in your generation will begin with with you, the breakthrough that has never happened in your generation will start with you watching me right now in the name of Jesus. The kind of testimony known that had never happened in your generation, it will start with you in the name of Jesus. You will be the first millennium in your in your place of birth. When I mean millennium, not in Nara, in, in pounds, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The story has changed your family from S4 in the name of Jesus. You are lifted to be called the Joseph in your family. I declare widows of divine opportunity. Let them be open up for you as you enter this new month of September in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, this month of September, you are entering into your favor, into a miracle that will shock your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever has brought you for the Lord this morning, that situation, that request, that intervention, that deliverance, that healing, that prayer, that application, that proposal, that project, that challenge, that issue that has made to come and seek his face this morning by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the covenant in the blood of Jesus, I decree a divine answer, I decree a divine solution. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus as you are stepping out for this prayer meeting. Walk into your breakthrough. When they have said no to you, they will say yes to you in the name of Jesus. That approval that refused to sign, they, it is approved right now in the name of Jesus. That mortgage is approved right now. That loan is approved right now. Whatever you have been asking God for, I declare by the word of God, God has approved it in the name of Jesus Christ. He has brought you out, out of shame, out of reproach, out of loneliness, out of what. Out of darkness, I declare you begin to shine, or rather shine, in the mighty name of Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you are next in line for a testimony, Obi Ozito, you are next in line for a testimony, Emilie Omoye, you are next in line for a testimony, Anita, you are next in line, Grace William, next in line for a testimony, Adelina, you are next in line for a testimony, Paul Belief, you are next in line for a testimony, Margaret Sunola, you are next in line for a testimony, in the name of Jesus, Sonia Matthew, you are next in line for a testimony, Dubai Alfred, you are next in line for a testimony, Carol D. Everstrong, you are next in line for a testimony, John Omana, you are next in love for a testimony. Ayo Oba Odomare, you are next in love for a testimony. Anita Data, you are next in love for a testimony. Ani Annam Kamara, you are next in love for two testimony. Lucia Jamela, you are next in love. Lucia, bless you, Lucia. You are next in love for a testimony. Sriam, Sriya, Sriya, you are next in love for a testimony. In the name of Jesus. Dear Pastor Minister Ben Ozukum, you are next in love with testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. I have Atomi Eye Danem, you are next in love with testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. As Ben watching me now, Esther Chuvu, you are next in love with testimony in the name of Jesus. Even those that I cannot mention, God knows you, you are next in love for a, 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 a testimony in the name of Jesus. You are entering into your season of a strange testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Hope, Okore, Emmanuel, you are next in love for a great testimony in the name of Jesus. I cannot, Christopher, you are next in love for a big testimony in the name of Jesus. A big testimony that will have Jesus in your life. It will show up in Monodality. 
You are next in love for a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amy Osoji. You are next in love for a testimony. Yes, Ben Ezekom. You are next in love for a big testimony in the name of Jesus Christ William. You are next in love for a big testimony to be friend. You are next in love for a big testimony. Jerry Okozowa. You are next in love for a big testimony in the name of Jesus Christopher. As you are next in love for a big testimony. Life in Christ. Life in Christ. You are next in land. With a big testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many watching me, you are next in land for a big testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But a mighty God we serve. Yeah, but Margaret, you are next in land for a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, yes. And I'll encourage you that tomorrow, Satan, I'll be live again. Just Wednesday, you are next in land for a, for a stretch miracle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cover all the causes you with the blood of Jesus. I declare every good thing that is attached to today will manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. You will experience the waters of God in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you to keep sharing, you must share it, share it, share it. Share it to your friends. Share this it to your friends. Tell them what to expect. Strange miracle that God is still in doing wonders and He will, he will do it in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, please share it. Encourage your friends. But what they can watch it, no, like it, love it, like it. Please share, share, share. You're not sharing more today. Share more, more, more. Your time has come. I love you all. The time has come, but the mighty God will serve. You are the God of possibility. He will make it possible for us. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Talking, your time has come. Or believe, your time has come. Yes, you let adverse, your time has come. Yes. If you are led to give, the Lord the Akat Baba is there, and the will be open up for you. I love you. I'm going to love you more. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Wow. Queen. Queen. Bless you, Queen. Zimmer. Larin. Sawaram. Pastor, bless you. Larin. Bless you. If I'm blessed you, your time has come. I'm as this Joshua. Bless you. Bless you. I'm as Obi, love you too. Bless you. Your time has come. Wara Ibi, bless you. So that's it. So beautiful. There is no pity for Sabita. There is no pity for Sabita to you. There is no pity for Sabita to you. There is no pity for Sabita to you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, this is a love me. There is nothing impossible unto me. There is nothing impossible unto you. Call a vat. Call him your mother. Call a vat. Bless you. 
Yes, you. Call him. Go, go, listen to you. Call him. Yes. Many factors, many bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Love in Christ, bless you. God in love, bless you. There is nothing impossible of you. There is nothing impossible of you. There is nothing impossible of you. Impossible to you. to you. Hallelujah. There is nothing impossible to you. Thank you. Impossible to you. Victoria, Victoria, bless you. Power. They are mighty. Hallelujah. I want to thank my twist. Thank you very much, my twist. No, I'm so proud of you. With um, my sister's children, they did start the song. What a blessing to me. I love you all. Mm. Love you all. My courage, the one that gave me a job. No, you gave me a job. As my viewers, you gave me this job. I'm a God with the most supernatural in your life. I love you all. No, God love you more. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. And on Friday, please tell your friends they must come to on Friday service. They must come because we are doing a special program. Whatever, whatever the enemy has tapped in your tapped with your life for your mother's womb, we are dealing with them. Because most of what we are going through can be traceable to our first contact, which is the womb. Please, don't joke with this program. I love you all. Share it. Your time has come. Hallelujah.